Hello everybody, my name is Bogdan Goga, I'm a Romanian physiotherapist. With me today it's uh, Nicola Yeftic, who accepted our invitation for a nice discussion about physiotherapy, scoliosis and a lot of other things. We are here in the beautiful University Sapientia in Târgumureș, which we uh, send our kind regards and we thank them for being our host for today. Hello, Nicola. Hello, Bogdan. Uh, thank you so much for your introduction. Thank you so much for uh, invitation. And it's a big pleasure to be the guest in your podcast. And also, it's a big pleasure to be first time in Târgumureș. We are very happy to have you all the time in Romania. Um, I'm not a local also in Târgumureș, I'm from Bucharest, but uh, uh, here it's, it's, it's a very nice city and I, uh, we feel it all the time very warm when we come here. Nicola, let's jump into physiotherapy scoliosis. So, I, as a physio, when I uh, did my bachelor's degree, and I think every physio in this world studies scoliosis in, in their um, um, a bachelor uh, degree diploma and they study some maybe some programs of exercise some maybe some methods and when you graduate and you start working you probably have the chance to see patients with scoliosis why should a physio come to an education uh, of short therapy uh, and to develop his skills due to the fact that he already studied something. Thank you so much for uh, for this question, because this is generally a very important question. Um, we have a lot of topics and we are uh, learning a lot of things on our university, but this is mainly general things. And uh, university cannot give us the direction in which way we want to uh, have more specialization, what we want to do more. Uh, that is the reason uh, why every physio needs some specific education, additional education, because it's not it's not enough. Uh, actually, sometimes it's enough, but definitely uh, universities open a lot of doors for us. And after university, we have to decide in which direction we have to uh, go. And uh, that is the reason why uh, as physios who would like to uh, to know and to have some more information about scoliosis or uh, deformation of the spine they have to finish and they it will be good to go in this uh, direction and to have additional education actually uh, when we talk especially about the shrot this is the specific uh, uh, exercises which is uh, specific exercises uh, which change the, the spine and trunk uh, in all of three uh, dimensions, which means that this is uh, the some additional education which is uh, necessary if we want to work with uh, scoliosis uh, patients. <clears throat> we have a lot of ways, let's say more schools, but yeah, at the, the moment... seven schools <coughs> yes, that we but, find in yeah. the source of guideline. Yeah, exactly. And... Uh, every school has some different approach. Uh, uh, we have to decide uh, in which way we have to go. And actually, it's not when we just talk about scoliosis. If we talk about low back pain, we have a lot of options. Yes. If we talk about shoulder problem, we have a lot of options. But uh, definitely, uh, if we uh, the, um, science is improving every year. Yes. And we have every year new informations, which means that I always said our education is based by scientific proof at the moment. In future, we will maybe learn something new, something more, which means that we, if we want to be high professionalists, we have to follow this scientific uh, part and uh, also to have this, to follow this scientific uh, proof, which means we cannot expect that university give us all of these uh, uh, informations. We need to finish this university, to open door for ourselves and to see in which directions we want to uh, go. Of course, what is the very important, it's very important to collect information. Yes. And before you choose where you want to go and which what you want to finish, you need to collect information. Which means that everything what we are learning in future, it's very important to be based of scientific proof not just based of uh, 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 experience. Actually, experience is very important. 
to, yes. to be to be it's honest. It's one of the the like the three pillars of evidence-based practice. So we have current data and data from research. We have what the therapist or the professional in healthcare knows to do and uh, what he's more experienced in, and also what the patient needs and what the patient um, um, finds comfortable in working with. So these three pillars um, um, create the evidence-based practice. So yeah, exactly, exactly. This is this, this these combinations are very good. But uh, uh, actually, that's what I want to say. It's always important to collect information before we go in some direction. In some directions, yeah. So, so we should know, like, from university to make like a research and to see which of maybe the seven schools have has the best evidence-based practice uh, and choose from that, because um, uh, we I, we were mentioning those the seven schools, but um, we see that uh, we don't have a lot a lot of scientific uh, uh, articles about physiotherapy and scoliosis. I think the last 10 years started a lot of research, but... Uh, exactly, that, exactly the last, uh, last 10 years. Yeah, and, <coughs> the, and sometimes the problem is that um, I was um, uh, uh, reading a very nice article who said that sometimes research going into practice, so from the researcher going into the people that really use that data from research, it takes also 20 years. This is why sometimes um, uh, we find that we still use old things that we know that uh, they don't have result or we know that um, they are uh, not used anymore, but we still find it in some specialists that they use it because the research didn't arrive to them. So I think this is one of uh, also one of the ideas why people should go to education and also i know that uh, you do refresher courses what's the idea about having a refresh course so you finish the education the the 10-day education of uh, ISST Schrott, but then you do a refresh course why do you need that refresh course actually if you allow me i would like to answer first on your previous comment actually question about schools uh, we cannot actually we don't compare schools between each other and what is very important that every school has different approach and, and benefits and uh, this is this is why we we are always trying to, to to respect each other not to make competition because all of us are good in some way yes. and every single school has some benefits that is why they are included in this in this uh, branch and um, uh, now uh, to jump on your second question uh, about refresh course. Um, my comment always, because we, when we give the certification, we have uh, the, the time uh, when this certificate which uh, will uh, 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 expand and we finish uh, the, the, the period of these certifications. But I always said the refresh course is not because of this number. Okay, you have certification from 2022 to 2025. It's not because of that. Yeah. Everyone who are working with scoliosis patients, they need to go to refresh course because of themselves. Yeah. Not because of Nicola or Bogdan or because of the shot. Or if they are coming because of the paper, <clears throat> this is the big problem. But not for me, for patients. Uh, uh, we have a trend now that is very famous to be short instructor. Actually, it's yes. it's it's popular. Popular, yes. yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's say better popular. But uh, this is not the idea. I always said, look, the 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 main uh, reason why you have to be instructor short therapist is to help to someone. This is the idea, and we need to make refresh course to refresh the knowledge of this uh, short therapist. Yeah. During the time, by their experience, they are trying to change something, to implement something for, by themselves, which is totally uh, uh, okay, because I always said, 
after education and after a, a lot of patients, you have experience and you see what is the much better for your patient because every single patient is different approach. That is why uh, after that, uh, after some times, we in, implement something new in our system. And it's always good to be all, always refreshed. Yeah. And also what we are uh, uh, talking about some additional uh, uh, part of education we will see how we will call that uh, which will be uh, uh, the concept to keep the contact with a therapist because now we have a lot of short therapists yeah. and we want to keep the quality yes. how we can keep the quality to keep the control uh, from the uh, 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 between uh, educational center and between uh, uh, short therapist this is the way that we are trying to develop now how to control this therapist and to say okay we can recommend this person okay this person is very active we can we we could put his name on our uh, list and we are totally sure that everyone who choose this therapist will be satisfied and and, and happy and to have good uh, good result so what you're saying what <coughs> i understood is if we would like uh, we would compare short method from today 2023 and the short method from 2000 let's say 23 years ago it's different uh, can it's i evolved. can i can i ask you another question yes <laughs> <laughs> you had a car 10 years ago yes. which is old and you have the same brand now this is not the same car okay yes Fair enough. <laughs> this is this is uh, um, and also <clears throat> also the the comment of that. Okay, uh, during the time Schrott changed, and now it's uh, going in the, another way. No, doesn't go in another way. Mm, yes, it's going in the same direction. We are using the same principles, but we are trying to improve our method. <laughs> what is the this is the point? It's not the point to keep the standard which is old twenty years because we are trying by experience and scientific proof yes. to improve that but this is still short yes we don't call that another we, this is not another name or another method or an, another way this is the same way but you have a car 10 years old you have a new one totally different but logically it's different but same brand yeah <clears throat> and I, I will i will come back to what you said that now it's, it's like a trend we see this also here in romania to a B shrot therapist and the patients to do shrot therapy but what we've seen that it's it happened now the other way around so a lot of people use the shrot name or also working with patients although they didn't finish a shrot education all they use shrot to define their education uh, everyone has a right to develop their own way Yes. This is amazing. Yes. Because um, everyone who has experience and knowledge has a right to develop his, her, their own way. And this is the legitimate. Yes. This is very good. This is very nice. This and is how we, the profession develops. We have to develop. This yes. is only way how Krista, how Katarina starts. She's the yes. founder. She she started with, with Schrott Method uh, many, many years ago. And Krista developed that. This is, We will not have a Schrott now if they didn't start yes which means this is totally right that's that to start and and we have to support that and we have to always uh, be open for new ways i'm i'm always open uh, but we have to be very careful do not use the brand to develop something yes uh, this happened definitely and this is uh, this is only not uh, okay all other things are uh, uh, okay and also uh, if you're developing something Bogdan way yeah I will respect that but please show me your some proof mm -hmm. yes um, to be clear Schrott started with scientific uh, 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 papers and proof yes. let's say 10 years ago as yes. you said after <coughs> like 80 years of working of working experience, experience. Yeah, yes so 80 why is that like this and we cannot be very strict okay bogdan you start with your school give me scientific proof okay give me the time 
Yes. <clears throat> and this is this is, exactly this is give me the time to show you that my works, uh, my 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 method works. This is also uh, uh, also good. But what is the uh, uh, the point that um, you cannot show my scientific proof that your works, <laughs> work, oh, yes. your job and your way uh, works. This is uh, uh, just uh, what is not uh, uh, okay. But we have to be open. We have to be ready for new ways, and yes. we have to be open to learn. Yes. Maybe we have and to accept exactly. If, if some new ways are better, <clears throat> I don't have a problem with them. Uh, we cannot say better because now, if I don't want to to make direct comparison, but I can say yes. that definitely some schools are, has more benefit than Schrott in some mild scoliosis curve. Mm -hmm. Schrott, in, comparing to some schools, has more benefit for severe. And what we can say, what is the better? Both of them are good. Yeah. But it's you can use a little bit more this this way for this type of scoliosis that way for that type of scoliosis and also when I, I would like to go back on the researchers that in this field that is why I told you we cannot be strict yes. it's not easy to make a randomized controlled trial Definitely. why it's not ethical in some way it's not ethical in some way that you treat one group of patients and to other group of patients to say okay you don't do anything because I want to check my work Yes. You understand? Yes, I Which means that. that we cannot be okay. That is not new way. Show me immediately your results. I always said we have to we respect. Not treat patients. Yeah, we have to open hands. Just wait and see. That's exactly. What you're saying. Exactly. Yes. And we have to give the time to everyone to support. To, I, I also would like to, re, to to repeat maybe to learn something from from someone uh, because this is also very important if we are closed and if we say we are the best and we don't want to to accept anything that means that we personally have some problem but we have to be open we have to give time but please i just want to say i'm nikola yevtich don't use my name for your way you are bogdan goga yeah. i would like i don't want to use your name for for something to make something good in romania serbia or or, yeah. or doesn't matter where? And another way to be up to date is to go to meet other people, uh, other specialists. And this is something that I'm totally impressed that you created, the SCOSIM. Tell us something about SCOSIM. Yeah, actually... We, it will be <clears throat> this year uh, in September, yes? In yeah. Istanbul. Yeah, this year will be in, in September. I, I'm very proud of this project, to be honest. Congratulations My, about it. it thank you. It's, thank it's not you. easy work. <laughs> actually, now, when I saw, when I see now what I did, I, I afraid now, <laughs> because it's... it's You're really, not back then, huh? Uh, I think no. <laughs> I think no. From this skin, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're like naive or you're like, let's do it and we will see. Huh? Actually, uh, some, uh, what is very important, when you start with something that you're not aware what is waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is the, 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 the great job. And uh, uh, I, I always want to uh, repeat and to say that this project comes, this is I, idea comes from myself, but... Uh, I had a lot of uh, help from people around me and I always will mention, and this is very important, always mention someone who will help you to make something and never forget that. Um, actually, uh, this project starts, started 2019. Yes. And my idea was to, first, my, my logic and my policy is that everyone deserve knowledge. Yes. This is important. Should be, a se um, people should have the means to access good knowledge for their patient. No? Yeah. Because we should all the time have in mind that everything we do should be for the patient. Exactly. Not for us as specialists. Exactly. That means that everyone deserves knowledge. Immediately, everyone deserves good treatment. Yes. And um, I, I don't like to, to cut the area. Okay, this area is... Uh, doesn't have a resource to yes. accept and to implement good knowledge. This area is better. And I wanted to make something for Balkan. That was yeah. idea that 
invite all people that I know who are very has very high uh, uh, reputation and who made a very big thing uh, uh, for uh, scoliosis in their life and to transfer the knowledge to my area yeah that is was my idea my idea was to uh, make one scosi in 2019 and that's it to finish with it then uh, we had a lot of uh, keynote speakers and uh, uh, I, I would like to mention maybe it's not popular but my policy was that cotization is very low yeah. that we just can cover basic uh, expenses, expenses. Um, and that showed me that that works and uh, we had a lot of keynote speakers we had a great event and I got accommodation from some keynote speakers uh, that I respect them a, 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 a lot that they told me look this conference this symposium must continue this is not first and last yes. and i said okay that's amazing what to do and they gave me recommendation of course they told me it's need a lot of your efforts but it will revert this is this is true then next year uh, uh, unfortunately we had a covid yeah and we skipped this this year then next uh, 2021 yeah. was again in Novi Sad and my idea was okay this symposium deserved to go in another country because for me it was a really big uh, effort implemented and I, I was a little bit tired because to do every year same same similar thing uh, uh, it's it's a little bit uh, uh, problematic for 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 people then I uh, uh, made the board, I made the, the, the committee, then um, we decided to have next year in uh, Athens. Then last year we had in Greece uh, SCOSIM and this year will be in um, uh, Turkey, in Istanbul, yeah. in September. Then I can say that... And next Next year we are now we have to discuss in board. <laughs> we have more countries. We have also Romania on the yeah. table. Yeah. We have Croatia and we have Poland. And Poland. We, so yeah. it, it moves from the Balkans. So Definitely. it can move from the Definitely. Balkans. Definitely. Definitely it moved, but uh, 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 I would like to keep that in Europe. Yeah. Uh, this is just what I said now. <laughs> we will see what will now, happen today you know 10th of june 2023 huh? yes if you're looking in 2025 this maybe. yeah everything is possible actually uh, uh never say never yes that's the, but we will see at the moment this is the situation and scosim is uh, become more and more popular and this is uh, uh specifically for uh scoliosis and postural deformity yeah. symposium so you should be there if you're working with scoliosis and other uh, postural uh, uh, related disorders. You should be in Istanbul uh, this uh, September. Yeah, I, I would like to invite all all listeners to, to to come. And also, what I want to to say, my idea. I come from ISST from short school. Yes. But my idea is that scosim is n for everyone. Yeah. And I'm very proud to say that I invited. Um, uh, or, or almost all representatives from other schools to be keynote speakers on uh, this event and uh, uh, the idea is that SCOSIM has opened the hands to everyone Yes. and that uh, listeners have to make decision in which direction they want to go or maybe they want to go in more direction this yes. is also uh, very nice but um, as we are discussing now about the problems with um, that we talk uh, talk before about the brand and something like this. That is why it's very important to have information. Yes. Uh, if you as a therapist doesn't have information, uh, you maybe can make mistake. But you can have information. That is why my idea is cause to open the hands for everyone. Because if you have everyone on the table and everything on the table, you can choose. If I don't give you uh, more options, if I give you just shrot, you will say, okay, shrot is the best. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. <laughs> but, but my idea is not yes. that. My idea is to give him informations, which is go which is worldwide informations. And also, this is very important for parents and for patients. If they doesn't have information, that is why we can say. Uh, sometimes I said that it's bigger difference between therapists from same school 
than between some schools. Yeah. Because it's very important that you work on yourself, that you are trying to improve yourself. And that is why uh, uh, you need, as a patient, parent or therapist, to have information. Yeah. Who will educate your yourself? who will educate you and who will treat your child. Yeah. This is Because very I th important. I think a lot of us, we study different things, but when we go in the clinic and we work, we sometimes adapt what we learn to us. And this is what you're saying, you know, that uh, therapists that studied the same thing do it very different sometimes. That, that, that is exactly that is exactly true and that is why I when I'm talking about uh, my school and when you're inviting me I will talk about the shroud because this is normal but I will always mention that people has more options yeah and <laughs> don't expect from me to talk about them but expect from me to mention them and that you see okay this is not only one way let's check something else yeah but let's, let's check something leg legative and yes. to 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 see what is the uh, what are the more options because if i give you just one option like for example on conference symposium and you don't have an, another uh, more informations you have just uh, to to choose that and i think that is not fair yes and i've seen now that um, ISST goes also in the direction to educate physicians yeah We need to speak the same language in the team, with doctors, with uh, yes. orthotics. Uh, my policy is that I always said first, it's very important multidisciplinary team. Yes. And when you have multidisciplinary team, you have multidisciplinary approach. Second step is that these persons from this team know each other. Yes. And third step. They want to communicate between each other and to listen each other. Because physical therapist is very important chain in this circle. We can we that is why we started with educate with doctors' education, because physical therapists, doctors, physicians have to talk in the same, in the same language and have to understand each other. And if you don't have communication and contact with your orthotist, if your orthotist doesn't want to listen to you, definitely do you know who will have a problem? Patient. Yes. If doctor and orthotist or doctor and physical therapist doesn't want to communicate between each other and to see what is the best option for this patient in that moment, this patient will have a problem. Because we can talk about, okay, we have guideline 20 degrees, 25 degrees, 45 degrees, 50 surgery and so on and so on. But it's not every single curve same. It's not same flexibility. It's not same position. It's not same balance. We cannot talk just about the number. We have to talk about the child. And if we want to make the, the, the best decision and the best therapy approach, we have to communicate between each other and to see all aspects then to make final and the best uh, decision. That is why multidisciplinary approach is very important. We started with education for physicians and uh, I think that this is a very good project because uh, we have to talk with between each other and to understand. Uh, uh, doctors, physicians have to understand what we are doing yes. and opposite. Yes. Nicola, thank you so much for this lovely talk. It was uh, very inspiring for me. I hope that also for the people watching us. And um, I am looking forward to see more of your work. I know that you have some things prepared like uh, the webinars and stuff like that. So uh, people should stay in contact with uh, ISST, with uh, Facebook page, Instagram pages and, uh, their and web page. Web page, yeah. And there they can find more info about um, the short method and Uh, about education and a lot of information that can be helpful for them and for their patient. Because let's not forget, we are doing it for our patients. Thank you so much, uh, Bogdan, for uh, your invitation. And it's a really a big pleasure to be part of this podcast. And I think that it will be useful for, for uh, some people. Thank you so much, Nicola, for this wonderful podcast. 
And if you want to learn more, if you want to find out more, we invite you to uh, see the Facebook, Instagram and the website of Isesete Shrot.